This apartment belongs to an elderly couple who relocated from the country. They moved from 250 acres to 38 square metres. This building is located in Darlinghurst in Sydney and is a circa 1920s building and it was a distribution warehouse in its previous life. In the late 1990s, it was adapted for apartment living. The apartment was actually in very good condition. It just didn't have the required functionality or utility inherent within it for the needs of my clients. This is a studio unit. By demarcating the space and providing a number of zones, we've given each occupant the opportunity for privacy or solitude. Given the age of my clients, it was important that all of the spaces were deemed um, accessible and compliant for a wheelchair. My clients, Coral and Jim, are very well traveled. They worked overseas. Coral was a chef and is still a very keen cook. The kitchen has a lot of integrated functionality, both for its appliances, but also for storage. And neatly, the kitchen appears to sort of float off the floor to give it a sense of lightness. The kitchen is very functional with fully integrated appliances like the refrigerator and the dishwasher. There's a large pull-out dining table uh, that seats five guests. When that's put away, that enables more space in the living and more circulation space in the kitchen. The handle details are a cutaway rather than a protruding handle, and this appears on mass throughout the apartment, which creates a nice continuity. The kitchen joinery extends all the way through to a credenza, which lends itself to a seven metre long worktop. The credenza provides ample storage for all of those things that the clients didn't want to part with, photo albums, books and the like. The clients very much opted to favour storage. There's a lengthy hallway flanked either side by storage. On one side is the integrated laundry, a linen cupboard and some miscellaneous storage. And on the other side is the his and her wardrobe. The secondary space is primarily a bedroom. The bedroom is accessed by each occupant from one side only. So Jim has his own side and Coral has her own side. And that's because we needed a large enough hallway and a deep enough storage block that the bed came quite close down to the wall. The flip down bed sides mean that that can be tucked away when converted to an office space. Jim is a very keen writer and requested a separate zone. So we used a large sliding door with um, frosted panels so that he could have private space to be able to do the things that he likes to do. The sliding screen serves three distinct purposes. One is to bring light into the spaces that it closes off. The first space that it closes off is the bedroom. And the second space that it closes off is the hallway, which could become a changing room off the bathroom. We were very fortunate that the bathroom was a large size. We've maintained the idea of accessibility if that's a requirement in the future. There's underfloor heating, heated towel rails, integrated lighting, and a really, really large shower space with provision for a shower seat for the future if they need that. We decided to stop all of the new joinery insertions at 2.2 metres high. And what this does is lends itself to the feeling of more height. What we've done in the bathroom is bring the ceiling down to that level and then make use of all of the space above the bathroom for their storage of wine and for things that you really need, like your luggage. Given the magnitude of the downsize, it was a nice opportunity for them to pick as much of the fittings and fixtures as possible. Things like the red sink in the kitchen, the dotted tiles on the bathroom floor, and it was the client's preference for ceiling fans over mechanical air conditioning. We moved all of the lights off the ceiling so it'd be much easier to change the light fixture. And the fold down seat is great when you're on your way in and out of the unit and it's nice and close to a pull out shoe drawer. We designed to ensure that everything was easily accessible. The bed for instance doesn't need to go away, it can stay down and be a bedroom. 
The storage space above the bathroom by the ladder, it's there now, but it's not a necessity. It was really lovely to be able to design for Coral and Jim. Not only are they thinking very clearly about what they need now, but they're also thinking about what they're going to need in the future. This is their 28th place of residence and they're adamant that this will be their last place. They're very happy here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo and the notification bell to receive updates on our latest episode.